battle of the titans, the early gods who come to earth only once in only one location, and that is here in Washington, D.C. for only one purpose, and that is the Nathan's famous 4th of July hot dog eating qualifier in Washington, D.C. We arrive at our destination by the sum of all our past and the unswerving punctuality of chance. So it is, and so it always shall be. Let the contest begin! He served our nation with a tour in Afghanistan. And when he returned, he focused his energies on becoming a professional wrestler. But he tore his shoulders, and he has now gone into competitive eating, ladies and gentlemen. We honor his service. Hotel Alpha, Romeo, Tango, Mike Alpha, November, Hartman, Belly up to the bar, do it too, feel the burn, fire in the hole. Hold the phone, go we go, go home, game on, game on, game face. Never say never, never see die, never give up, put up a shut up, shape up a shoot up, show me the money, make my day, good night, I read, wake me when it's over. It's go time, are you with me? <laughs> then count it down with me from five, four, three, two, one. Ronnie Hart 
Chapman on 14 here. He is neck and neck with Derek Jacob. Now listen, this is gonna what it will come down to is who has the greatest capacity. Derek Jacob typically a little more capacity. We'll be watching that. Derek Jacob now on his 13th hot dog and bun. Am I right about that? Yeah. Ronnie Hartman now on his fourth plate. He is currently in the lead now. He's on his 16 hot dog. And I'm in the spray zone. Okay, Crazy Legs Conti is on his, he is on his 11th hot dog and bun, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy Legs, former oyster eating champion of the world. 25 year veteran of the circuit. Some say his stomach has lost that elasticity, but he's here today going for the gold to get in on the fourth. As I mentioned, top three men, top three women will go to the fourth. Because usually we have 17 qualifiers for COVID. We're still coming out of COVID. We've only had two. So we'll see what happens. Three of these eaters, male and female, will go to Coney Island. I wonder, as we move forward, we're at the halfway mark right now, and we are, Darian Thomas also on 15. We've got Pat, uh, Pat Roletti's on 26, am I right? Ladies and gentlemen, it slipped past me. I didn't think he could come out of retirement and perform like this. He is now the clear front runner. Ronnie Hartman and Derek Jacobs are gonna have to pick up the speed right Ronnie. now. That is one hot dog and bun for every hot dog and bun in 27 hot dogs and buns. That's how many he has right now from Chicago, Illinois. Katie Livermore, in my mind, a beacon for the future, the beacon that is bringing me forward through these difficult times, is an incredible performance here today, right, right next to Renee Rovtar, Superintendent of Schools of Montvale, New Jersey. <laughs> Ronnie Hartman on 20, but 10 hot dogs above that is Pat Bertoletti getting back into his old form. The rhythm is still there. Pat Bertoletti, really amazing me here today. Let's go down and see where Jim Reeves is. The watermelon and pork rind eating champion of the world. They call him Buffalo Jim. That is where he lives, Buffalo, New York. 18 hot dogs and buns right behind the top three. So he is in striking distance of a spot on the 4th of July. Our thanks today to Giant, to Nathan's Famous, to Monster and Smithfield, and of course, Intersport, which helps run all of these events. Incredible operation. 20 for Crazy Legs, that puts him at fourth. Derek now coming up closer on Pat Bertoletti. Conti, Darian Thomas maybe inching
pushing him out, but to try this on Darian's plate, if he doesn't pick that up, I'm gonna have to do a small demerit for him. And we're Ready down go! at the two minute mark, folks. Bringing it home right now, Rene Rovtar, dunking the hot dog and bun in the water. That is allowed, it is encouraged. Livermore again <laughs> distinguishing herself right here. Her bowel is coiled like a serpent ready to strike. And she is on it and she is going to the floor. That's her belief. That is her will. That is her desire. <laughs> Minute and 15 seconds now. Buffalo Jim up above 20. We're going to be coming home here. Pat Bertoletti, it would seem take the first spot and we're now down to the minute mark No, his friends and family say no, he goes forward. Prudence De Benedetto actually suffering a little with the humidity, but she pushes forward. Buffalo oh Jim Reed is a veteran, nothing bothers him. And Pat Bertoletti bringing it home as we are 11 seconds. We're at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put down your hot dog! Oh my God. It's a journey. It's a journey. Oh, Ronnie Hartman now leaning over, letting gravity do what it does best, pull down that stomach, the weight in his stomach, not only just the hot dogs, but the water, the, the juice. Okay. And I'm going to look at this. Darian Thomas just seems pensive right now. No, it's just that he's trying to swallow and get rid of what's in his mouth. Darian Thomas, actually from Ontario, Canada, one of Canada's best eaters, really, truly, and an honor to have him here. If he qualifies for the fourth, that would increase the number of international competitors who are there. Okay, I'm gonna ask my judges to come on over. Uh, <laughs>
U.S. Army served his nation, he will serve it again next Monday. Jimmy's short to say his name. I love that. Ladies and gentlemen, some of your records, your, your best performances of the past? 21 pounds of grits in 10 minutes. <laughs> 21 pounds of grits in 10 minutes, which is just good common sense because it leaves so much time to do other things with the day. You're not eating the entire time. Okay. 275 pickled jalapenos in 8 minutes. <laughs> I was there for that actually, yes. In Chicago, in Chicago, right? One since. Yes. Never again. Neither had I, and I didn't eat one before. Okay. And 55 hot dogs and buns? Yeah, 55 and 10, so. So he has a little work to do to get ready here today. However, with 40 Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs Are you listening? Damn.